hey guys welcome to excel channel again and from this video we are going to create a new playlist called financial function and formulas in excel so if you are in a financial sector play with the numbers or a banking numbers i would say then this video will be helpful for you because in this video we are going to cover the overview of these financial functions like pmt function and per function rate function principal value function which is pv and the face value which is fv and we are also going to cover all this in the basic terminology so you should watch this video and you can also browse through the timeline if you want to learn such a specific function then you can find the timeline in the description box so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because we are going to cover each and every functionality of financial formulas and function in excel in detail so you may be going to miss so much in future if, if you won't subscribe to this channel from now on so let's get started so this is very basic sheet here which we are going to fill we are going to fill emi rate and per principal value and face value i know this may be complex for you but if you are into financial sector or banking sector you must know these terms so the scenario here is in the first part we are going to learn an pmt function in excel so scenario here is we need to find the emi what is emi see if you go to the bank and take a loan from them they charge you in rate of interest and give you an option to how long your loan should be repaid like the number of months here or a year so you take a like a 300k dollars in loan and bank decide a 20% annual interest here and the period will be the 50 months so you need to calculate emi which is easy monthly installments and to calculate that you can do it manually or you can use pmt function so let's just open the pmt function here like this the first argument here is rate and we have a five arguments total but three is mandatory which is cover all the basic part and two is optional which we are going to cover in upcoming videos so you should subscribe to this channel the first is rate of interest rate of interest will be this NPER what does NPR means it means number of periods which is this it should be in months not in years and the principal value is this and we just close the parenthesis let's see what answer does it give so it gives a huge amount of sixty thousand dollars here so sixty thousand dollars for 50 months is equal to more than we are getting a loan right so what does it mean it means this function just took this rate of interest as monthly rate of interest okay and to make it a annual here we just need to divide this rate of interest by number of months in a year which is 12 so let's see what it gives so that it gives a right answer which is eight thousand eight ninety dollars hope you get by now how does pm t function works in excel so if you have some question you should ask that in comment box such that one of our representative can back to you and help you with such scenarios so in the next part we are going to cover the rate function so for the rate function we need a loan a periods and emi which is the pmt so to enter that let's just put like this the emi of this and for the rate part let's just open the rate function here and it has three main arguments and three optional so we are not going to cover the optional part but we will cover that in detail in upcoming days so here we have npr which is the number of periods which should be this 50 and it should be in months and in the pmt part which is payment for the loan here we have the monthly basis so we have a principal amount of three hundred thousand dollars close the parenthesis let's what see what it gives so you must be wondering it just giving a two percent but we in the same way we got the interest of 20 percent why because we haven't multiplied that with 12 why we need to do that because it just revert back us a monthly interest rate here and to give a yearly rate of interest we just 
multiply that by 12 so it just give a 20 percent which is equal to the previous example we have learned right so in the next part we are going to cover NPER function if we made the monthly payments of this on a 50 months loan and with the annual percentage of annual percentage of 20 percent then let's see how many months does it take so we need to just calculate the number of periods here to pay such humongous amount with the help of interest rate this and emi of this so let's see nper so we have three main arguments and two optional here and to find the rate of interest we have this okay and the pmt here which should be this and the principal amount should be this and close the parenthesis so it just says the num error why because we need to specify that by dividing by 12 so it says 50 months to take such emi amount to cover three hundred thousand dollars with interest rate of 20 percent per annum so hope you understand why we divided by 12 here because it does take monthly rate of interest so we have divided by 12 and we have put the rest in our arguments so hope you understand how npear works so next will be pv here what is the pv function pv function help us to find the principal value on the basis of pmt interest and number of periods here so if you know emi of this so if you know emi like this and you have interest rate of 20 percent as usual which should be the annual here and the periods is 50 months so we need to calculate the principal value on basis of these three values here so how are we going to do that we just need to open the pv function here so it has three main arguments first is the rate rate should be this and you should divide by 12 and number of periods is this 50 and we have the ema of this and close the parenthesis so it gives us the right answer of three hundred thousand dollars so hope you understand how this works and you should understand by now the all terminology like loan like pmt and per face value or principal value in excel in financial formula and functions in excel and in the next part we are going to cover fv which is face value in excel so what is face value suppose if we make monthly payment of this which is eight thousand eight hundred and ninety dollars on a 50 months loan with an annual interest rate of 20 percent do we actually pay off this loan so let's see by using face value function for the face value function we just need to add the fv here and if we read the description of the same it says return the future value of investment based on periodic constant payments and a constant rate of interest let's just open it so we have a rate here rate should be this let me just divide by 12 to make it a monthly and npr is this and the payment is this and we have a optional argument of pv but let's just close the parenthesis here and find out what it revert back so it revert back six hundred and eighty five thousand dollar but if we add a pv here so what it gives it gives zero dollar why because if the loan interest is this and if we pay a emi of this with the annual interest of 20 percent then your face value will be zero because you have already paid those humongous amount already so that's what the face value means or oh, if we just added this value like 1890 for to illustrate you an example so let's see so it says minus five three nine seven nine five which means that much amount is still need to be paid that's what face value means so hope you understand all this function and how these financial functions works if you have then please click the like button and if you want to learn such function in detail in future then you should subscribe to this channel and if you want to share this to your friend colleague or family then you should use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye